What is up YouTube, my name is Vinny and welcome to Road Blast Media. Uh, before we crack on with today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe and the like button to show your support for the channel, it always means a lot. Now um, a quick thank you to Royal Enfield New Zealand for lending me this Classic 350 and making these latest videos possible. Um, today we're going to be doing a video on the five things that I love about the Classic 350, the new 2022 model. So. The number five thing that I love about the Royal Enfield Classic 350, and this is in no specific order, um, is the straight up fit and finish of this motorcycle. I think they have done an exceptional job of finishing this motorcycle. I'm a spray painter myself and the paint job is absolutely exceptional. It's hard to find even a single blemish in it. Um, the embossed logo is very nice. The um, the uh, little Royal Enfield logo there in the headlight, the indicators are nice, there's the Royal Enfield logo on the foot pegs here, sorry it's a little bit dusty, um, even just the stickers, they look really good, the paint job on this bike is great all round, they've gone over and above on the fit and finish of this bike, the, obviously I'm pretty sure it's hand painted, these uh, little accents here, and um, down here as well, the stripes and things like that. It's an absolutely stunning motorcycle to look at and for the price point of it being like sort of a, a budget conscious commuter motorcycle, the fit and finish of this thing is absolutely exceptional and way above what you would expect for paying uh, at this price point, like even down to the, the dash and the nice little Royal Enfield logo here. It's, it's beautifully finished and it's, it's actually a very, very stunning bike for what, for what you pay. So yeah that's number five is the fit and finish of this motorcycle number four on the list of things that i love about the royal enfield classic 350 is the seat now i really really like the seat i've ridden the classic 500 and it's, it's it's reasonably comfortable but they've really really upgraded the seat it's got really nice cushioning i love the brown um it's it's a really really great seat, it's such a comfortable motorcycle, easily the number one most comfortable motorcycle I've ever ridden. Um, even the rear seat, I've had my, my girlfriend sit on the back of it just, just standing still, I do not own this bike so I was, um, I tried to keep my risks to a minimal so I didn't take her for a ride on it but she said that it was a very comfortable seat to sit on and she said that she would be comfortable even on long rides over the other bikes that I've taken her on and I've taken her on a few of my personal bikes and yeah she, she always ended up a little bit sore but she reckons on this that it would be very very nice and comfortable as well as you've got the, the grab handles here on either side and also at the rear so there's lots of places to grip onto, it's actually a really good bike for a passenger. The only thing that would be is it's a little lacking in power so if you do take a passenger up hills and things like that may be a little bit more uh, struggle for the bike but in the end of the day it's still a very comfortable bike for a passenger and is more than capable of taking one it just will be no speed machine with a passenger nor is it without but you know what I mean uh, the more weight you add the slower the bike is going to go um, but yeah so that's number four is the seat on this motorcycle is exceptionally comfortable number three on the list of things that I love about the 2022 classic 350 is the look of the engine now, I really love the look of this uh, Royal Enfield 650 engines on our Continental GT and Interceptor uh, 650. They are incredibly beautiful engines and this is no different. It is a single cylinder but it is designed to look very similar to the 650s. It's got the nice black in the middle here, the, uh, obviously the fins for the air cooling. Um, it's got these nice beautifully crafted chrome casings with the lovely Royal Enfield engraved on this side. And what I kind of found interesting is that it's, it's a little bit thinner on this side with the exhaust coming out. If you actually come around to this side, it looks like a much bigger engine and honestly looks very similar to the 650 on this side. If only it had another pipe coming out the side, you'd be, you'd be uh, fooled. And obviously you have the lovely polished aluminium casing on this side as well with Royal Enfield uh, embossed there into the metal. It looks absolutely stunning and I really really love the look of this little engine. I love the 500 but I do feel like this is an improvement and the exhaust as well looks absolutely stunning coming out the back there with the old school little pea shooter tip. It really really looks the part 
and the only thing that some people believe this thing is missing is the kickstart from the 500. I really think that completes the classic look and it would have been awesome to see it on here but I can see why they didn't go for it as the electric starting and things like that is uh, very very reliable and it makes a lot of sense. So yeah, that's number three, is the look of the engine and exhaust. Number two on the list of things that I love about the 2022 Classic 350 is the rear light assembly. Now over all of the other Royal Enfields in my opinion, um, the I quite like the Himalayan but it's, it's a more modern style rear assembly. But I'll quickly zip into the shed just to show you guys. But see the Classic 500 here? It's quite a bog standard, basic and cheap looking setup, and you've got the screws in there and everything like that. And then if you look at the Interceptor 650 assembly, it's a very basic and boxy looking uh, uh, rear light assembly too. It does look classic, but not as classic as this new assembly. It looks really, really nice in my opinion. It's nice and clean. It really, really, it just, it captures the classic look so well. And there's, it's, it's very simple and minimalist, but it really, really looks good on the, on the bike. And even though it, it is still sort of plasticky and things like that, it looks the part so well. And there's even like, you can see like Royal Enfield sort of embossed in there and things like that. It looks really nice. And I, I really appreciate that they went to the effort to uh, redesigning the rear tail light assembly as well as, yeah, they're like nice little Royal Enfield there. But yeah, the tail light assembly, it just looks so nice and I think it really, really captures the classic look really well without looking cheap or anything like that. So yeah, that's number two on the list of things that I love about the 2022 Classic 350. Number one on the list of things that I love about the Classic 350 is, it's actually the same on the Meteor as well, um, and I'm very much looking forward to doing a, a video with the Meteor soon, but it's the, the grips and the levers and switches that they've done for this new model. Uh, over a lot of budget conscious bikes, they all really have the same switch uh, switches and grips as everybody else, you know, like um, I had a 2020 KTM RC390 as one of my first bikes and it's basically exactly the same setup as my Continental GT. They share very similar switches with a lot of bikes and that's obviously just a budget conscious thing. There's probably a company that just mass produces them for most of the companies on their uh, more budget style bikes. And being, this being Royal Enfield's, one of Royal Enfield's cheapest models, um, the fact that they've made these really nice switches that are like only, I've only seen these on a Royal Enfield. Obviously there's nicer ones when you get to like way more premium bikes, but you don't find this sort of stuff on a, on a budget conscious bike like this. So you've got really nice thick grips, you've got these really nice little uh, switches which have the Royal Enfield since 1901 uh, uh, engraved in them, and then the, even the switch has like a nicer sort of ergonomic thing for your thumb, and it feels really good to use and it doesn't feel so cheap as the other bikes. You've also got your little hazard light one here. Uh, the kill switch is integrated with the starter and it feels really nice to start too. It's, they're really, really nice grips and even the, the, the levers are, are lovely to use and they're super ergonomic and they, they look really clean and smooth and it just suits the lines of the bike so well. So I really like the fact that they went for this sort of new design, it really suits the bikes and I can't wait to see what they do with their other new models coming out to see what kind of uh, design, sorry, innovation that they come out with. It's going to be very, very interesting. So yeah, that was the five things that I love about the Royal Enfield Classic 350, the new 2022 model. If you want to see this bike in action while me riding it, if you haven't seen my channel, I've done a few videos of me actually riding this bike and saying my thoughts about how this bike rides and things like that. So go and check those out. And yes, thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and give the channel all your support. Leave a comment. Um, I know all you subscribers already do. You guys love to comment and I love to reply to you and have great conversations with you. So that's really awesome. And also, another big thanks to Royal Enfield New Zealand for lending me this absolutely beautiful Classic 350. Thank you for watching, guys. This is Vinny from Roblast Media.